It's not exactly breaking news that modern AFL players are paid huge amounts of money. But making five figures a week and having eight figure net worths is insane. These are the richest AFL players in history. When Jeremy Cameron made the decision to move from GWS to Geelong, it wasn't just a great move career-wise, it was also great financially. You see, GWS had offered Cameron a mega five-year $700,000 a season deal, which he likely would have taken, but Geelong intervened. They offered him a five-year stay at the Cats in return for $900,000 a season. Just insane. The move has paid off, with Cameron having the amazing opportunity to play alongside one of the game's great full forwards, Tom Hawkins. And we can't forget about him winning a Premiership medal in 2022. That was the same year that Cameron made his first big purchase. In March 2022, he and partner Indiana purchased a huge 50 acre farm which is not surprising at all, considering Cameron's a country boy, who said that he feels most at home when on the farm. Who else would let a cow wear their gold premiership medallion? Cameron also purchased an $120,000 yellowfin boat, great for a famously outdoor mad adventurer like himself. From chasing tuna to flathead, I'm sure he's got his money's worth out of it, judging by the amount of fishing videos on his YouTube channel. Two-time Brownlow medalist Nat Fife made headlines when he signed a massive six-year deal worth a reported $7 million in 2017. And even though he struggled with injuries over the last few years, he's still been getting paid. Fife is a big fan of traveling, so whenever he receives a paycheck from the Dockers, his first thought is, what destination should I visit? In the past, he's taken trips to Colombia, picking coffee beans, snowboarded in Japan, and ridden a dirt bike with a surfboard strapped to it in Central America. While most AFL players plan a postseason team trip to Bali, Fife is just built different. And he's also far superior when it comes to his fashion sense. In late 2020, the then Fremantle captain threw up an Instagram story asking his fans what colour Tag Heuer watch he should buy. He ended up buying a $10,000 black Carrera, but I'm sure his partnership with them certainly got him a discounted price. But Fife is a smart individual. He doesn't just spend all his money on trips and flashy watches. He understands that playing AFL footy is quite a short-lived career and that he needs to set himself up for the future. That's why in 2016, Fife bought his first real estate property for over $1 million. A three-bedroom industrial-style home in the luxurious beachside Perth suburb of North Coogee. Fife even helped design the house himself. The West Coast Eagles shocked the AFL world in 2018 by offering three-time All-Australian fullback Jeremy McGovern a $6 million contract to play five years with the Eagles. Unfortunately for the Eagles and McGovern, injuries have seriously plagued his career as of late. In the past four years, he's appeared in less than half of West Coast games. But in 2019, McGovern made up for this by sacrificing up to $200,000 per season from his monster contract from 2021 onwards to help the Eagles financially after they offered other players some questionably high contracts. For a long time, the 31-year-olds also had a big focus on his career after footy, founding a Western Australian plumbing company in 2015 with friend Darcy Reader. In addition, he also has plans to get into the building world and eventually own his own building company, a man of many trades. But McGovern's biggest purchase came after winning the 2018 Grand Final with West Coast, because he splashed $1.15 million 
on a coastal home in Perth to go along with another investment property that he owns. One thing's for sure though, McGovern's definitely set himself up for a great future. When discussing the richest players in AFL history, it's impossible to look past Buddy Franklin. After winning his second ever premiership with Hawthorne, Buddy was approached by the Sydney Swans, the Hawks' arch rivals, the team that narrowly beat them in the 2012 Grand Final. The mind-blowing nine-year, $10 million deal was just way too good of an offer for Franklin to refuse, and he's put all that money to good use. Buddy's most notable purchase came in November of 2022 when he bought a luxurious seven bedroom, eight bathroom mansion on the Gold Coast for approximately $9 million. The spacious property is perched on top of a hill and comes with modern architecture, a stone fireplace, a swimming pool, and most importantly, a trophy case for one of the game's greatest ever forwards to store all of his Coleman medals and all Australian blazers. But if you thought that was Franklin's only ever property, you'd be wrong. Because while playing at the Swans, Buddy decided to reach into his $10 million deal and put $5 million of it towards a lavish four bedroom, three bedroom apartment in the small but expensive suburb of Rose Bay. But unfortunately, Franklin couldn't afford to keep both houses, and so he sold this one for $5.5 million in 2020. Outside of that, Buddy enjoys spending his millions on fine dining experiences and costly grand date nights for him and his wife Jacinta. He's really living the financial dream life. Brody Grundy's life changed forever the day that Collingwood offered him a seven year $950,000 a season mega deal. Unlike some other players, he's not a big fan of investing in flashy watches or huge mansions. Instead, he invests in himself. You see, in 2014, Grundy realized that he needed to prepare himself for life after footy. And what better way to do that than obtaining a university degree? He joined Melbourne-based La Trobe University and began studying for a Bachelor of Health Sciences while simultaneously playing for the Pies. After seven years of juggling the two commitments, Grundy finally finished his degree. Hopefully, his investment pays off, but that's just one side of his life. When he's not studying or playing footy, he's enjoying fancy holidays in exotic locations like Morocco, Portugal, and Rome with his partner, Rachel. Which AFL player do you think spends their money the best? Tell me below, and don't forget to subscribe.